In his book 100 Million Years of Food, Stephen Lay takes the reader on a fascinating journey through the history of animal and human diets, spanning over a century of research. The book is divided into four parts, each focusing on a different aspect of the evolution of our eating habits, the Paleozoic Era, 54250 million years ago, the Mesozoic Era, 250-65 million years ago, the Cenozoic Era, 65 million years ago to present, and finally, the Anthropocene Epoch, the most recent 2.5 million years ago to present, and finally, the Anthropocene Throughout the book, Le draws on a wealth of scientific evidence, including paleontology, archaeology, genetics, and ecology, to paint a vivid picture of how animals and humans have adapted their diets over time. The Paleozoic Era, which began with the Cambrian Explosion, saw the emergence of a diverse array of plant and animal life. The first land plants, such as mosses and ferns, appeared around 470 million years ago, providing food for the earliest land-dwelling animals. Insects, which evolved around 410 million years ago, became an important part of the food chain, feeding on plants and being fed upon by other animals. The first vertebrates, fishes and amphibians also emerged during this time, with some species developing specialized feeding adaptations, such as suction feeding or using teeth to crush shellfish. The Mesozoic Era often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs, saw the rise and fall of these iconic creatures. Dinosaurs, which first appeared around 230 million years ago, were the dominant land animals for over 160 million years. They had a diverse diet, including plants, fish, and other dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs, such as the duck-billed hadrosaurs and the triceratops, were herbivorous, while others, like the Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor, were carnivorous. The Mesozoic era also saw the evolution of birds, which are direct descendants of theropod dinosaurs. Birds continued to evolve during the Cenozoic era, becoming more diverse and widespread. The Cenozoic era, which began with the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs 65 million years ago, saw the rise of mammals. Mammals which had existed in small numbers during the Mesozoic era, diversified greatly during the Cenozoic, with some species developing specialized feeding adaptations, such as hooves for grazing or sharp teeth for hunting. The emergence of grasses around 50 million years ago led to the evolution of grazing mammals, such as horses and cows, which could better digest the tough grasses. This in turn led to the development of complex social structures and specialized teeth in these animals. The Anthropocene Epoch, which began around 2.5 million years ago, with the emergence of the genus Homo, humans, saw a dramatic shift in human diets. Early humans were primarily hunter-gatherers, relying on a diet of meat, fish, eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits, and vegetables. As humans began to settle down and cultivate crops around 10,000 years ago, their diets became more plant-based. The domestication of animals, such as cows, sheep, goats, and pigs, also allowed for the production of milk and other animal products. With the advent of agriculture, humans were able to support larger populations, leading to the development of cities and civilizations. In the final section of the book, Lay examines the impact of human activity on the global food system. He discusses how the Industrial Revolution led to the development of modern agricultural practices, such as monocropping, mechanization, and the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. These practices have allowed for increased food production, but they have also led to environmental degradation, soil erosion, and the loss of biodiversity. Lay also explores the role of globalization in the food system, highlighting how it has facilitated the spread of both beneficial and harmful practices around the world. Throughout the book, Lay emphasizes the importance of understanding our evolutionary history when it comes to making decisions about our diets and food systems. He argues that by learning from the past we can make more informed choices about how to feed ourselves sustainably and healthily in the future. 100 million years of food is an engaging and thought-provoking read that will appeal to anyone interested in the fascinating history of animal and human diets, as well as the challenges facing our global food system today.